Hi everybody! This will be a quick update. The main reason I created the 555 timer clock circuit was that I couldn't get the RC2014 crystal controlled clock circuit to work. I didn't have a 74HCT04, so I tried a 7404, a 74LS04, and a vintage 74C914 inverter I had laying around. It looked like the 74C914 was trying, but something wasn't right. I discovered the capacitors I was using were not 22 picofarads. After locating the correct parts, the circuit worked as expected, but only with the 74C914s. I had already built the 55 timer clock, and fortunately I left just enough room for the crystal controlled clock circuitry. I added a 3 pin header to select between the slow clock and the fast clock. The fast clock is necessary to generate the correct timing for the serial I.O. board. So I'm moving the jumper over to the fast mode and I have to remove the control signal cables from the LEDs. Uh, it's just too much of a load at that higher speed. And uh, as you can see, the LEDs are just going so fast, they're just uh, on constantly. So um, yet to build, uh, well, the full speed clock board is complete. Um, next up is the 64K RAM board. I just couldn't convince myself to build a 32K board or four 8K boards with the 8K chips that I have on hand. So I ordered two 32K SRAMs and uh, they should be here soon. I also found an 8x12 centimeter prototype board that I think is going to be just right for this board. Um, and with the full speed clock board complete, I can start on the serial I.O. board. I've downloaded the basic source files and I'll be programming an EEPROM soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell to see more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.